In this video, we're going to be trying to solve Venn diagram questions, the type of question when you're asked to find the value of some missing information. Um, it could be something on the lines of, let x be the value of, here we go, let x represent the number of people who like all three types of these are different types of comedies and movies, I think, and we've defined a value. So it's one type of question. So in this case, we have 100 people ask if they like adventure, science fiction or comedy films. So let's draw our box which represents the whole universe. A good big box. You can do better than this. I'm doing it freehand on a machine here. It's not that easy. So, um, okay, here we go. Big circle. Again, fine big circles. I'll do that. I'll make it better than that, I think. Not much. One. And again, a nice overlap too. goodness sake and then uh, label the three circles as well so okay so 100 people so our universe is 100 we have adventure science fiction and we have comedy okay now you start going through the information and um putting it into your venn diagram as best you can 20 people like adventure and science fiction now that's adventure and science fiction this is the circle here there for adventure and science fiction, but it could be either one of them. I don't know how it's distributed. It could be 10 people here, 10 here, or five here and 15 here. I don't know. So I can't use that information yet. Nine like science fiction and comedy, same thing. I don't know, it goes in here somewhere, but I'm not sure uh, which sectors it goes in, so I can't use that. 16 like adventure and comedy, but not science fiction. Okay, good. So 16 like adventure and comedy, but not science fiction. So here's 16. They like adventure and comedy, but not science fiction. So that 16 goes there. Tick it off. 41 like adventure. 41 like adventure. Good. Tick that off. 50 like comedy. I can put 50 down here as well. 50 like comedy. That's done too. 25 like science fiction, but not adventure or comedy. Okay. 25 like here, like science fiction, but they don't like adventure or comedy at all. So that's fine. That's that piece of information dealt with. Two, do not like any of these types of films at all. So, okay, we'll put a two here. Let X represent the number of people who'd like all three types. Okay, good. Now, we've done all those bits, but we can now go back up again, start read the question again, and make sure you haven't missed any information, um, and see if you can fill in the other bits of information. So, 20 like adventure and science fiction. Okay, so here's 20, is adventure and science fiction. So 20 goes in this area here. So this is going to be 20 minus x. The way it works, imagine there was six people here in the x. Instead of x, you have six. Just say they say six like all three. Well, then you'd have 14 here, because 14 and six would be 20. And it, we say, we know that 20 like adventure and science fiction. So if that was six, this would be 14. But it's not six, it's x. So it's 20 minus x. That's that one. Nine like science fiction and comedy. But the same here, there's science fiction and comedy. This is this section here. And it'll be 9 minus x. Okay. I think now, let's see, we've done this. Now, I've, all these bits of information have been dealt with. There's none of them, including that one. They've all been dealt with. So now I've got to fill in this Venn diagram using this information here. I know that this here is going to be 41. This whole circle is 41. Take away these three bits here. So 20 and 16. That's equal to 36, and I have a plus x and a minus x. Well, they cancel each other out. So this number here is going to be 41, take away 36, which is 5. So this goes 5. Okay. I know the only bits of information I'm missing now is down here. Okay, and this, this uh, sector here is missing. So I have 50. Again, I have to take away the 16 and the 9 minus x and the x. So 16 plus 9, that's equal to 25. And have a plus x and a minus x. Well, they disappeared. That's six mi x minus x is zero. So 25. So 50 take away 25 is 50, is 25. So there we go. I've now completed this, representing the information on the Venn diagram. Now to find the value for x, what I need to do is I need to add up all the information here, and I know it's going to be equal to 100 because that's the universe. All these elements in these in this set. They all add up to 100. So I'm going to add up uh, 5. I'm going to work across this way. Let me just move this down for a sec. Okay, so I need to add all these up. So let me add up 5 plus 
20 minus x plus 25. I'm just working my way across, okay? Now I'm going to 16x and 9 minus x plus 16 plus x plus 9 minus x uh, plus 25. I'm not forgetting this lad out here, plus 2. So let's all add, add all these up. I'll change pen colour. Um, now, okay, I have a minus x and a plus x. They're going to cancel each other out. I have a minus x as well. So I have a minus x. Let's add all the numbers now. Now you do this on a calculator. Write it down as well. Um, so 5 and 20 is 25. I'll underline them to show that I've actually counted them. 5 and 20 is 25 and 25 is 50. And 16 is 66. And 9 is 75. And 25 is 100. 102. So 102, when I add up all the numbers, and my x is added up to minus x, when I add them up together, I have to get 100, because that's the size of the universe. So x is equal to 2. So you solved the first bit. x is equal to 2. Okay? x equals 2. That means then that this here is equal to 18, this here is equal to 7, and this is equal to 2. Okay? Right. So a how many like adventure and science fiction? So that was B. So part C, this here. How many like adventure and, and science fiction but not comedy? Well, adventure and science fiction, that's this bit here. That's adventure and science fiction, but not comedy. If it was adventure and science fiction and comedy, it'd be all three, like this, okay? Uh, sorry, if it was adventure and science fiction and comedy, it'd be just be this one here. But it's adventure and science fiction and not comedy. So it's just this top here, which is going to be 18. How many like science fiction? Well, science fiction, that's going to be a D. Science fiction is going to be 25. That's this one. Plus 18. Plus 2. Plus 7. So that's uh, 25, 30, 48, 55. No, I'm not sure. Hang on for a second. That's equal to 52. Okay, number E. How many, so not, how many like two or more of these types of film? So these guys are this here, they like two, these guys like three, these like two, and these like two. So it's all these. So that's going to be 18 plus two, the ones who like all three, plus 16 plus seven. Okay, and I think that adds up to 43, I think. That's an A, like two or more. Good. What's the probability that a randomly selected group of selected person from the group likes science fiction or comedy? Now that means you're talking about someone who likes in this circle or this circle. So it's everybody actually. You could add all these up if you like 25 and 18 and 2 and 7 and 16 and 25. Or you could just say it's not these two, is it? It's not 5 and it's not 2. Everyone else likes science fiction and comedy. So F. It's going to be 100 minus 7, which is 93. So there's 93 people like science fiction or comedy. And they ask you for the probability. What you do is you divide it by the total number of people, which is 93 over 100. That's the answer to the probability. 93% probability. And then part G is, what is the probability that a randomly selected person likes science fiction or comedy, but not adventure? Okay, well, the... That includes these people here, and these people, and these people. Just nobody in the adventure. So that's going to give me 25 plus uh, 7 plus another 25. Okay, And that's all divided by 100, because it's probability as well, which is equal to 57 over 100. Okay, I hope that helped.